Hey guys, welcome to the 2022 MDT SHOT Show booth. Uh, we've been having a great week down here in Vegas. I was able to get down here a few days early, get all the guns assembled down in Phoenix. Then we drove up over the weekend, met up with our installers, uh, and had everything ready to go for Tuesday morning for all our great customers to show up and for us to show off all the cool stuff we've got going on this year. I'm gonna pass it off to Josh, one of our engineers here, to show you all the new products we have coming out for 2022. Hey everybody, welcome to SHOT Show Day 3, 2022. We just got here, just finished setting up the booth. Uh, super excited for today to start. Um, just before the doors open, we're gonna run through the booth really quick. Look at all the new products, look at all the different uh, chassis and everything we have behind me here. Um, this has been a great show for us so far, so we're really excited to take you guys with us through the booth here. First thing we're gonna touch on is the HNT26, which a lot of you guys are familiar with. This is our ultralight chassis starting at 26 ounces carbon fiber forend, magnesium center body, carbon fiber buttstock. This has a prototype carbon fiber vertical grip on it, which we're displaying at the show here. Um, and these guys have been really, really awesome for us so far. Lots of people have been picking these up, amazed by how light it feels, uh, really built for that ultralight hunter, NRL hunter, um, backpacker type market. And there's been a lot of interest in these chassis. So we've been really, really excited to have them here at the show. Moving over here, We've got our timber chassis that we'll touch on next. So the MDT timber, which is its name for right now that may be subject to change, this is our first foray into a laminate stock. Um, we're still gonna call it a chassis because this, importantly, still has a metal backbone that runs all the way through the inletting, all the way down through the grip core. So laminate clad, kind of like our XRS, but it's a little bit heavier, got a very, very solid feel, very nice look to it. You know, it's that traditional kind of stock lines, but all the rigidity and all the accessories uh, and adjustability you'd find out of a chassis. So you've got your longer forend in here. It's about 14, 15 inches long. Metal, uh, aluminum in the bedding surface, so there's no gunsmithing or pillar bedding required. You have a bottom metal built in. that takes AICS mags, mag latch in there, drop in, two action screws, and you're ready to roll. You've got two different grip options, your vertical and your angled over-molded grips here, and there are still a bit of prototype parts, so excuse those. Um, coming into your buttstock, you've got your cheek riser adjustment up and down, left and right, and you can also cant it. Same thing with your butt pad. You've got your up and down adjustment, in and out, and you can also cant that. So lots and lots of adjustment, a very feature-rich, uh, packed full laminate stock. We're really excited to have these, hopefully launching in 2022. Moving inside the booth here, so another one of the products that's been really heavily featured and a lot of people have been coming over here and picking them up is the MDT Skypods. We uh, really wanted to display all the different options we have available and this isn't necessarily everything, but it gives you a good idea of all the different bipods we have over here. So we've got our single pull, double pull, triple pull displayed at full maximum extension to really give you a feel of what they all do and how they all operate. Uh, and then new at the show here, we've got our lightweight Skypods. So these are a new product for us here in 2022. Um, we're really excited to offer them, and these are again kind of to complement the HNT and some of our ultralight offerings. This gives you all the functionality that you would expect out of a standard SkyPod. However, it's doing it at about 30% the weight, so we're really, really excited about these guys. Um, a couple features that have changed, of course, the legs here look a little bit different. We've done some selective machining on here. There's a lot of titanium hardware um, in these bipods, and then we've also removed the barricade stop off the back here. But you still have your RRS BTC mount, and you still have your sling swivel, and also RRS compatible heads. So we're really uh, excited to have these out and about. Um, they do come in a single pull and a double pull, and they're retailing in the, in the neighborhood of seven to $900, plus or minus. Um, really, really excited about a lot of these offerings. We've also got the Heavy Duty here, which is the beefed up, thicker version of the SkyPod built for heavier recoiling magnums, 50 cals, things of that like. So awesome to have them all on display and really good to see them in all the different height configurations. Over to this side of the booth, we've got a couple more of our accessories. Um, up top, we've got our buttstock lines. So our SRS line of buttstocks, our skeleton rifle stocks, and below that, our skeleton carbine stocks, the SCS line. Um, down here as well, we've also got our brand new bipod, which will complement the uh, SkyPod a little bit at a lower cost. So a lot of people coming into MDT wanting a robust, solid bipod um, that will bolt onto their Picatinny or their Arca. And starting at 199 MSRP, um, that's where these guys are coming in. This is our MDT ground pod. So we're super pumped on this product. A lot of people have picked it up. A lot of people have handled it, been really, really impressed with it. Um, and we're really excited to show it off. So a lot of the same features, you've got your legs that move forward and back, you've got zero position stowed, 50 degree forward and a 90 degree, and then a rearward stow. Um, you can pull down on the leg on these guys and they'll extend. Your height range is about four and a half to nine inches, so a pretty good height uh, extension range. 
You've also got a tension lever here on the back where you can adjust your cant. Um, both of these bipods will have cant but no pan. The Arca RRS head is uh, QD, so you've just got the knob here. You loosen this off and you can slide it back on your rail, tighten up. And then the Picatinny is just two cross bolts to, to bolt on nice and solid onto your uh, system. So really, really excited to have these out here in the, in the booth. And again, MSRP of $199. From there, we'll keep moving through the middle of the booth here. Um, on this side, we've got a lot of our accessories displayed again. We've got all of our magazines up top, some of our newer magazines like our poly metal mag and our three round polymer mag. We're really, really excited about this one as well. So this is a short action three round polymer mag um, holding calibers like 308, 65 Creedmoor, 243 and so on. Um, we also have up here the 6mm ARC mags and the revamped 6mm BR mags. So really, really excited to have those now on the shelves and ready to display. Down below, we've got our full selection of grips. Some of the really cool ones are our new wood uh, Premier grip. We're excited to have this in the booth. This is a full wood uh, grip, much like the timber there. It's coming in uh, really exciting for those guys who wanted an alternate, uh, alternate material to a carbon fiber or a plastic or an overmold. So really kind of classic, nice, warm to the touch grip. Still gives you nice solid feedback and it is compatible on ARs as well with the grip hole. And then we've also got the carbon fiber grip here too, which is insanely light. A lot of people have picked this up and been amazed that this is not 3D printed or complete prototype. So we're really, really excited to have this here in the booth. These are our produ production level carbon fiber grips. Um, the angled version, unlike the, the vertical version that we saw over there earlier. So again, AR-15 compatible. has the same kind of profile as our Pistol Grip Premier uh, grip, but it's fully made out of carbon fiber. Base weight on this is about 1.1 ounces, plus or minus, so it's very, very light, um, and it ships with our HNT chassis as well. So super pumped to have that on the shelf. <laughs> and we have them all here on, in the booth. Sneak over to this side now. Uh, this is where we've got our LSS XL chassis. So the LSS XL we've had for a few years now. We've got it here on display, a couple different options, the FDE, the black, we have the carbine version, as well as the fix and a couple builds up above. Um, it's nice to have these builds here because guys can walk through and pick them up and have a look at them, shoulder them, and understand kind of how all the uh, different accessories work and how everything bolts together. So being great, you know, a lot of people still are looking for that chassis at a mid-range price point, but still offers a lot of the features. M-Lock forend, um, you've got your barricade stop on there, your ambidextrous mag latch, and then of course you've got the two different buttstock interfaces. So you can throw on uh, a carbine type buffer tube or a fixed type buttstock, like an A2 type buttstock, um, if it's something you already have, or we can go back to some of those SRS and SCS stocks that we, are, we offer, and you can drop them right on here. AICS mag compatible, and there's a bunch of inlets available too, so really cool to have them still here in the booth. Right behind us over here, We've got the TAC-21 chassis, our tried and true bread and butter chassis. This is uh, our OG chassis that's been around with us forever. We're really, really happy to still have it here with us. Uh, this is more of our long range ELR, set it and forget it type chassis. Uh, inline recoil all the way front to back, so your buttstock is perfectly in line with your bore axis. These, butts are, these chassis are designed to fit with the skeleton rifle stock system. So you've got your Lots of adjustment on your stock, up and down, left and right, cant, you've got on your butt pad, you've got your cheek riser, up and down adjustment, and you can also cant that and angle that to fit you as you need it. Um, lots of really cool features all the way through here, such as capturing your action completely and actually keeping your scope mounted to your chassis rather than directly to your action. So very, very cool, kind of similar ergonomics to a uh, AR type platform. So a lot of guys transitioning from the ARs into bolt guns really prefer this kind of platform to something that's a little bit more opened up and you know different ergonomics. So we've got both of our grips here uh, displayed. We've got our vertical grip as well as an angle grip. It is AR-15 compatible grip wise so you can drop on whichever one you feel um, or if you have another aftermarket grip it'll also go on there. AICS mags as well as your barricade stops. So really cool to have these here in the booth as well. Over here we have our XRS chassis. So these are a somewhat of a newer chassis for us. I think we launched them in 2020. Um, these guys MSRP for about $450 or so, offered in black and FDE and a ton of really cool inlets. New for 2022, we have our rimfire inlets like the CZ 457 and 455, the Tika T1X inlets, which are really, really awesome to see, um, as well as a couple different uh, lefty inlets that are coming, and as well as you know all the different varied inlets that we already offer. So the Remingtons, Tikas, Savages, 
a whole bunch of different options. We have the enclosed forends here as well, as well as the open forends. So options to mount more uh, NV optics, rails, weights, whatever you want up there, as well as internal weights into the forend of the XRS here. The chassis gives you more of that traditional stock feel while still maintaining a chassis. So you still have this metal forend all the way through, metal V-block and bedding block in the center. So again, no gunsmithing required. So drop-in fit, we ship you the action screws, everything just bolts together. And then you've got the metal that runs all the way through the grip and into the buttstock. So lots and lots of adjustment. You've got your cheek riser adjust that's all toolless and you can remove it if you need to for cleaning or for bore siding. Then we also have our butt pad adjust. Uh, these guys aren't as feature rich. You, you're not able to shift the buttstock up and down, um, but you are able to adjust your length of pull with spacer system in here. So we ship you uh, four to five spacers. You can adjust your length of pull about an inch or so um, out of the box. So really awesome, just all around uh, great chassis. You know, good for hunters, good for those crossover riflemen that want to start with a chassis but want the ergonomics of a, of a stock. Behind us over here, we have the uh, ACC. This is our one of our flagship chassis. This is the uh, adjustable core competition chassis. So a lot of people know this from the PRS NRL circuit. Um, this thing has been a really great uh, chassis for us where we've been super happy with its performance. It's got a bunch of over the top features such as adding and removing weight. You can take the base chassis from about five and a half pounds up to over 13 pounds. We've got tons of accessories that go on here. So we've got the M-Lock exterior weights on this long 18 inch forend that comes standard with Arca Swiss rail on the bottom or RS dovetail. You've got your internal weights all along the forend here, uh, which you can easily add and remove if you need to. And we will be offering a single piece internal weight for these pretty quick, which is awesome. So you don't have the five individual stacked weights. Coming through here, big old barricade stop, giant flared magwell to make it easy to uh, add and remove your magazine if you need to quickly on a stage. On here we have our elite vertical grip, so our overmolded, pretty big uh, vertical grip that a lot of competition shooters have been running. And in here we've got our really awesome new damper system, so we're really excited to see these here now at the show. These are prototypes that we've just, uh, just about to release. And what they do is they soak up the recoil um, of your chassis as it's coming back at you and it gets rid of some of that vibration and some of that uh, tinginess that you feel in the chassis sometimes. So we're really, really excited to have these here at the show and able to display. Um, again, this is our SRS X Elite buttstock. So it's got all the features, all of your butt pad adjustment, all of your height adjustment. And these chassis are starting at about $12.99. So super awesome to, uh, to see these. Um, one chassis that we haven't touched on is our ESS chassis, which is right around the corner over here. Again, one of our other flagship chassis. I've uh, been really, really happy to see these here at the show. Um, this is another one we launched back in 2018, and it's been such a cool chassis for us. This is one of our most modular systems. So you've got interchangeable forends between 15 and 18 inch forends, carbon fiber options. We have a folder option, um, which we had on the ACC over there. Um, you've got the shorter butt stocks, the longer butt stocks, all different types of, of very cool options to really customize your chassis to what you want it to do. Um, we offer options with no rail, partial rail and a full rail system up front here on your forend. So if you're running a duty gun or an ELR gun or anything where you need to mount accessories up on your forend, this is a great chassis for something like that. Really rigid, solid construction and a nice polymer hand grip in here. So if you're carrying your chassis for a long time, you've got something really solid and comfortable and warm to grab onto. Of course, coming through your buttstock, you know, you've got all the same adjustments that you're going to see on your ACC your TAC-21, a lot of our higher end chassis, and then your grip compatibility for your vertical grips and your angled grips um, are all the same as well. The other cool thing about the ESS is we do have a lot of inlets available for it. So your Remington, Savage, Tikas, Hawas, as well as a couple more extras as well. So we've been really, really excited um, to have these out and about. They're retailing in the, in the $1,000-ish price point. Um, there's lots and lots of options for them, so their price can kind of go all over the place. Black and FDE and a bunch of custom Cerakote colors available on these as well. So that's a really cool feature that we also offer on these. This is our accessory wall. This is where we're keeping a lot of the day-to-day the -day accessories that you'd find in a lot of your rifles. So scope bases, your rings, your rails, some of the accessory scope caps. So one thing we're super excited for this year is our 20 to 50 MOA scope bases. A lot of our inlets, have, people have been asking and re uh, requesting more than 20 MOA, especially for the rim fires. So we're gonna be launching a huge amount of rails in a very short amount of time here um, for 20, 30, 40, and 50 MOA uh, scope bases that'll bolt straight onto your system, as well as adding some more um, rails that we haven't seen before. So different inlets that people have been asking for over time. 
Moving through here, we've got our three different ring sets as well. So our Premier rings here, uh, we offer them at a really nice starting price point. They're a solid ring. Um, we offer them in a th one inch, 30 and 34 mil price, uh, or 34 mil diameter, I should say. A couple different heights available as well. Um, and they're a really awesome, solid ring that you're gonna see on a lot of builds, especially for something like the HNT, that requires a little less weight. Um, moving up from those, we've got our Elite Scope Rings here, which are a little bit more solid, a little bit more beefy. They've got a very big cross bolt on the side, and they've got six screws on top instead of the four. Um, they're also a precision line board, so it's just the same two rings that are stacked up when they actually bore through the center to ensure concentricity. So there's no reason to need to lap any of our rings, but these are extra no reason to lap them. So they're very, very excited <laughs> uh, to have these on the shelf. They've been a great product for us. And then also, this year, we are offering a new version of our one-piece mount. This is the long version. Later, we will go have a look at the shorter version. Um, this was a mount that was derived from our competition chassis. So our shooters wanted to run something that was super robust, super solid, wouldn't shift on them through air travel, lots of road travel, through their stages, bumping their guns around. That is what drove us to create this mount. So it's overly built, it's overly secure. It's got the six ring uh, screws on top of each ring. You've got a bunch of different ring caps that you can add on top of it. Five and a half inches of engagement with your rail and it fits 30, 34, and 35. The 30 mil um, diameters are coming on the new short one. So we're really excited to be off offering those really soon. The standard longer mount is offering the 34 and 35 and a couple different heights as well. So check these things out if you haven't already. They are absolutely bomb proof. And as I talked about earlier, we do have our accessory ring caps that are shipping standard with uh, our one piece mount right now and will probably ship with a short one as well. It allows you to add red dots, rails, accessories, all this different stuff to the top of your scope rings in a couple different positions. So really, really cool to have those uh, with us as well. Uh, this is our LSS RF chassis line. So a lot of people coming into the um, entry level chassis wanting something for their rimfire. That's where we have our RF and then we have our standard LSS down here as well. These are our light sniper system chassis. We've had them for quite a while. Um, they've been a very popular chassis system for us. The starting weight on these is in the one and a half pound range for chassis by itself. And you can add a lightweight buttstock to that to keep it a really light overall system. Really nice and compact. You can add a folder. So they're designed to be modular, lightweight, uh, easily maneuverable and not overly cumbersome at a good cost as well. So we've been really happy with these. Offer a lot of different inlets in them. And this is the gen two of this system. So you might have seen these chassis years ago, but the Gen 2, we've added the barricade stops, we've changed the aesthetics through here, changed the machining up a little bit, offered a couple more inlets, added M-Lock to the side and to the bottom, and kind of made it the, the, the same as our LSS XL, minus a, a few features, but again, keeping that drop-in V-Block system where you can just take your action, bolt it in with two screws, no bedding, go to the range and shoot. Um, AICS mag compatible, so you don't have to do any other work to it. You don't have to do any other uh, box mag conversions or anything. You just grab one of our mags, throw it in there, and you're good to go. So the LSS, definitely check this one out as a nice uh, entry level into our products uh, at a good cost and a good weight. So very excited about that system. Now, what everyone's been waiting for is the new products behind Rhett. <laughs> so this wall over here, this is where we're highlighting everything that's new. So I've gone through a lot of them over here, um, such as the different grips, but we've got some cool stuff on here as well. We've got our MDT Baker wings, which were designed by our, our team shooter, pro shooter, uh, Keith Baker. You guys might have seen him running these at matches for the last couple of years. These are a really, really neat system. Um, we'll go over exactly what they do in a sec here with the chassis behind me. But in, in essence, they bolt onto the side of anything that's M-Lock and they give you a really wide, solid contact patch on a bag, and also give you a lot of, um, so I should say they mount on the forend of your gun, and they give you a lot of room to add extra grip and extra control on your forend. So if you're shooting on something that's really unstable or really wobbly, you're able to reach forward and push down on this and grab your bag and give yourself a lot of uh, stability. And I'll show you what that means in a minute. Over here, we're highlighting our elite thin cheek piece here. This is a new cheek piece for us. You can drop this onto a lot of our butt stocks. Um, it's foam covered, foam over molded, and it's a lot thinner. Again, this was driven by our sponsored shooter team who wanted to get their, their head a little bit more in line directly with their scope. So rather than canting their head over, they're able to just bring their head right down and keep everything kind of in line, um, both strong side and weak side. So really a super solid uh, upgrade to your SRS or even uh, some of your other buttstocks you might find out there. It's a really, really awesome product that we're offering. So here's what I was talking about earlier with your long mount and your short mount. 
This is going to be brand new for us this year. This is our shorter one-piece mount. Still super robust, four cross bolts, six, tops, six screws on each top of the ring cap. Um, but this is a bit of a shorter mount. This is taking up about four and three quarter inches uh, of your top rail, uh, as opposed to the five and a half that you were finding on this guy. Um, still, as I said, bomb proof. You can you know, fly with this, travel with this, go, in your, uh, go to matches, move it around and bump it on things and it's not gonna shift. It's gonna retain your zero. It's gonna hold your optic really solidly. And we have our low, medium, high heights, uh, 30, 34, 35, and a couple of those different variations. So we're super, super excited to have those out there. And one of the reasons we wanted to do this was to give you a little bit more rail space. So if you're mounting a level or a data card or any other kind of accessory to the top of your action, you need that little bit more rail space, this is gonna be the mount for you. So check these out in 2022. We talked about the dampers uh, earlier, and here they are in a buttstock again. So these are our these are samples, these are not exactly uh, fully functioning, ready to go yet, but they're coming very, very soon. There's a lot of excitement on these. Um, this is how they install into something like an SRS X Elite, uh, like you would find on your, on your ACC. And they just drop right in, take a little bit of uh, muscle to get them in there, but once they're in, they're solid and they soak up so, so much recoil that it changes the, the vibrations, it changes the recoil characteristics of your gun a lot. So, Definitely really super pumped to have these. A lot of you guys have seen 3D printed versions of these that we haven't launched just yet. So here's the actual proper uh, injection molded ones. We touched on the ground pod already, so I won't go over that again. Um, one thing that we haven't looked at yet is our MDT comp brake. So a brand new product in 2022. This one has been getting a lot of attention. Um, this one took us 14 to 16 months of actual development time on this brake. We thought we had it about a year ago and we discovered a whole different can of worms where we wanted to make the best brake on the market for competition shooting. And what that means is not necessarily the best brake that reduces recoil, but we wanted the brake that reduced recoil and reduces shooter concussion the best possible. So there might be brakes that are better at reducing recoil, there might be brakes that are better at reducing concussion, but nothing will do it better combined than this brake, and we can guarantee you that. So this brake has a bunch of really cool features on it, uh, some selective port angling, so they're not actually all at the same angle, distance, or shape. They're all slightly different, which is a machining nightmare, but we love our machinists. Um, this one is a Cerakoted brake, and they will be offered with a top green plate here. However, in production, they will be a nitrided and anodized brake, again, keeping that really cool green aesthetic. Um, there's a bunch of neat features on here that we have to get really close up to, so we're not gonna go too deep in them, but there is some top porting available on this brake to help vent upwards escaping gases and actually keep the rifle tracking a lot more straight back into your shoulder rather than wanting to climb up on you. So um, these are gonna be available, six mil, six and a half, 308, 338, and a whole bunch of different thread pitches. So if you've got a comp gun that you're looking to upgrade your brake on, this is gonna be it. Um, MSRP is gonna be in about the $200 range and we're really, really excited to have these uh, out and about after the show here. So look for them kind of early springtime. Again, we've touched on the brakes, we've touched on the, the sky pods, we've got a couple of new accessories down here, but the last thing I really wanna show you guys is this uh, 223 metal mag. This is one that we haven't been showing off too much just yet, but we're really, really, really excited about it. This is a AICS pattern 223 metal mag with a polymer insert. So these will drop right into all of our chassis that are AICS mag compatible, and they work the same, if not better, than our 223 polymer mags. So a lot of you guys who are out there right now running 223 derivatives or 223 calibers, um, this is gonna be the mag for you. This thing is solid, it holds 10 rounds. It's got a nice good weight to it. Um, you know, you've got your adjustable feed lips in here, a little bit of an extension on the feed lips to really make sure that that round is every time presented correctly into your chamber. We spent a lot of time working with our pro shooters and working with industry professionals to make sure that these feed lips were optimized for all these different calibers. So definitely have a look at these mags. They are uh, an awesome setup. So check these ones out. Behind me over here, whoop. <laughs> behind me over here is the ACC Gen 2. This is going to be our big release for 2022. We are super excited to have this here at the show. And this is a prototype, so everything on here is subject to change. Um, there's a bunch of new features on it, including your thicker, wider, more robust forend uh, that has R-lock on the bottom, but is very, very stiff and very, very strong, reducing vibration, re reducing uh, reverberation. We've got our QD slots at the top here. We've got uh, M-lock or our Night vision bridges, as well as an ex optional accessory for a control bridge that you can stack on here. You can add and remove them and place them wherever you want, and they're very solid and lock into place. They're pinned in place for the NV bridge. 
So if you're looking at mounting a Charlie to rack or any kind of night vision compatible optic in front of your scope, that gives you that option. Moving back through here, we have M-Lock all along the fore end and along the bottom. So keeping that true to the ACC. We've got our big tall barricade stop that's actually changed angle and grown since the Gen 1. So giving you even more purchase and even more um, stability on a, on a support bag, on a prop. And then one of the really neat features that we get underneath here is we've got a fully adjustable magwell. So we have a magwell that adjusts front to back as well as adjusts your mag latch height up and down. So depending on what action, what magazine, what caliber you're running, you can fully tune your chassis to that system to again, optimize your feeding. So you shouldn't run into any issues where you have a caliber that won't feed or an action that won't feed. You should be able to tune that so that you can get the feel and the function exactly the way you want it. And that's a super, super cool feature for these comp shooters. Moving back from there, so our adjustable thumb shelves on the side here are M-Lock compatible. We actually just have a single M-Lock slot in there. Um, what they allow you to do is rotate the thumb shelf and translate it back and forth. So what, coupling that with your vertical grip in here, this is a brand new grip for this chassis. I'll explain why in a second. This grip allows you to adjust back and forth and also angle. So combining your thumb shelf adjustment, which is ambidextrous on both sides, with your grip adjustment, you can fully set the chassis up to your hand position. So no more, no longer the days where you don't have a grip that fits your hand or a chassis that fits your hand. You can fully set this up so that when you're running the bolt quickly or when you're trying to get on target, your hand is in a natural position and we're promoting that full 90 degree trigger control, right? Straight back, back press every single time, no weird movement. Moving back from there, the whole buttstock is a brand new system for us. This is something that we're really, really excited about. Um, on the bottom side here, we've got our connector bar that's integrated into the bottom of the grip and into the, the buttstock. And if that's something you don't want to run or if that's something you don't like the aesthetic of, you can just remove this straight out from the chassis and run it without. You can also go backwards and put another one of our older buttstocks, the SRS buttstocks, on here if you want. But this buttstock has a bunch of really cool features that are promoting the upgrades into the Gen 2. So keeping with the theme of rigidity through the forend, we've added a bunch of rigidity into the buttstock here and the recoil path from your recoil lug straight back into your shooter's shoulder is just one long straight line. So it's coming right back here into the chassis. There's no weird dips, there's no weird cutouts, and the pins and everything have shifted up to allow the shooter to stay a lot more upright and directly behind the gun so that the recoil tracks straight back into your shoulder and you're able to watch those bullets fly. We have a bunch of new toolless releases and toolless buttstock adjustments in here. So you can adjust your buttstock up and down or your uh, cheek riser up and down, lock it in place. And same thing with your uh, length of pull. So your length of pull bottoms out at 12 and a half inches, which is shorter than most chassis we offer because we're catering to a, a larger variety of different heights and body types. But also in positional shooting, a lot of guys are really collapsing that buttstock down. And then 14 and a half inches, that brings you way out. Um, you know, you've got lots and lots of adjustment in your buttstock, but still a really super rigid lockdown here. And of course, like all of our other buttstocks, you've got your height adjust, your cant adjust, and your translation side to side on your cheek riser and your butt pad. So super pumped to see those in there. We've also got the 3D printed prototype dampers in here right now, which are very similar to the dampers we looked at earlier. But these, of course, are just prototypes because it's a different shape and a different uh, aesthetic on these ones. So we're, we will be offering these later uh, at a later date for this chassis. So brief overview of the Gen 2 as it sits right now. Expect some changes, expect some things going on. We're going to start seeing these in matches uh, in the next little while, but we're really, really excited to have it here at the show and getting a lot of really good feedback. Thanks for watching our MDT SHOT Show video here. If you have any more questions, please reach out to our customer service at mdttac.com.